In this video, I will provide a quick explanation of the four square cipher. So here's the idea behind this cipher. We have four squares in which each square is five by five, so five rows and five columns. The top left square and the bottom right square are lowercase letters of the alphabet from A to Z, excluding the letter J. Now, sometimes you'll see a variant of this where you exclude the letter Q, but for this example, I'm going to exclude the letter J. Then the squares in the top right corner and the bottom left corner contain uppercase letters of the alphabet, A through Z, in which each letter only appears once, and we build these squares using keywords. So for example, I chose the keyword life for this top right corner square. So to build this square, starting in the top left corner, I wrote L, and then I, F, E, and once I've used all the letters from the keyword, then I can just start writing whatever remaining letters there are in the alphabet. So A, B, C, D. Instead of writing E right here, we can see that E has already occurred, so we only want each letter to occur once. So we'll skip to F, but F has also already occurred, so then we'll skip to G, and then H, and then instead of I, I has already occurred, so we'll skip to J, but we're excluding J, so then we skip to K, and then M, and we just continue in this manner. And then I built this bottom left square right here using the keyword treat. So once you have built these four squares, next you're ready to encrypt a message. So let's say that we would like to encrypt the following plain text. We love math. The first step to encrypting this is we need to split up the plain text into letter pairs. So our first pair of letters will be W-E, and then L-O, and then V-E, and then M-A, and T-H. So here's what that looks like. Now, once we split out the plain text into pairs, we're going to work through each pair. So the first pair is W-E. So here's what we do. Find the first letter in the pair, so W, find that in the top left square. So here's W. Then find the next letter in the pair, so E, find that in the bottom right square. So here's E in the bottom right square. Now to encrypt it, we're first going to write the capital letter where they intersect in the top right square. So we can see that they intersect, if we draw some lines like this, they intersect at the capital letter Z. So the first letter in our ciphertext is going to be Z. So our first letter is Z. Next, we're going to identify where W and E intersect in the bottom left square. So we can see if we draw some lines to see where they intersect, they intersect at the capital letter R. So the next letter in our ciphertext is R. So now we're done with this first letter pair, let's move on to the next letter pair of L, O. So we'll work through the same process. So first we identify the first letter of L in the top left square. So here's L. Then we identify the next letter, so this O, in the bottom right square. Then we find where do they intersect in the top right square. So if we draw that, we will find that they intersect at the capital letter O. So we'll write O as our next letter in the ciphertext. And then we want to find where they intersect in the bottom left square. So if we draw some lines here, let's see where they intersect in this square. They intersect at the capital letter I. So I will be the next letter in our ciphertext. And then we'll just continue this process for the remaining letter pairs that we have. And here is what we will end up getting for our ciphertext. So that's how we can encrypt the plain text we love math using this four square cipher. All right, now let's say that we would like to decrypt the following ciphertext using the four-square cipher. To do that, first we need to split up the ciphertext into letter pairs. So here's what that looks like. And then we're going to work through each pair. So the first pair is Z, R. So what that means is let's identify the first letter, so Z, in this top right square. So here's Z. Then let's identify the second letter in the pair, so the R, in this bottom left square. So here's R. Then we need to first find where they intersect in the top left square. So if we draw some lines here, we can see they intersect at the lowercase w. So that will be the first letter in our plain text. Then we need to find where do they intersect in this bottom right square. So if we draw some lines there, we see that they intersect at a lowercase e. So that's the next letter in our plain text. So then we're done with that letter pair, and then we can move on to the next letter pair, and we'll repeat this exact same process for each of these pairs. And we will find that the plain text was we love math. And one thing I forgot to note is that when you're decrypting ciphertext, you have to know what the original four squares were that were actually used to encrypt the text in the first place. So those were just a couple quick examples of how to encrypt and decrypt text using the four square cipher.